Back in 2018, I found myself at one of the lowest points of my life. I was dealing with such an intense depression to the point where I could not leave my bedroom. I also found myself not able to enjoy literally anything. I would usually just skim through YouTube and end up watching mindless videos, but not even actually watch it, and more so just overthink the entire time. There's a really good South Park episode where Stan is dealing with depression, and it shows his perspective. And from his perspective, all he sees is poop. Every movie he tries to watch is poop. Every food he looks at is poop. Everything is poop. And I feel like that is an accurate depiction of depression because it literally takes away your enjoyment. I'm telling you guys this because this is a very important part of this story. And by the end of this video, I hope you'll understand why Borderlands 2 means so much to me. So when I was feeling so lost, I almost didn't know where to start. But I do remember one of the most important things that I did was change the things that I consumed. So even like I said earlier, I was watching a lot of mindless content. So instead of watching mindless content, I started watching content that was more positive towards myself. That was step one. And then after that, I tried to do a better job of taking care of myself physically. I remember having a moment where I made a cup of tea and it was the first time that something felt good in so long. And even though tea is so small and so simple, just the fact that I was able to have something and it actually felt good, it literally filled me with hope. It made me feel like I could feel happy again. As I started taking care of myself more and more, I started getting back into working out. And working out is something I've always been passionate about. I have another channel that's dedicated to that. But the important part of this is that it felt good to physically feel good. Now, at the time, I didn't play video games for years just because I was a freshman in college and I was dealing with a lot. So video games were the last thing that I had time for at that point. So with that being said, I was not up to date with any consoles at all. Now, during this whole bout of depression, I actually managed to get my hands on a PlayStation 3. So at the time, while I was going through what I was going through, I tried booting up the PlayStation a few times. Like I said earlier, I just couldn't enjoy anything. So as I started working on myself, I tried booting up the PlayStation again. And when I booted up the PlayStation, I booted up my good old familiar friend, Borderlands 2. And what happened was way more than I ever expected. I really started consuming positive podcasts and I delved so deep into Borderlands 2. And I think I played three or four playthroughs with multiple characters. I also learned so much while listening to things while playing that game. That game forever will hold a special place in my heart. Borderlands 2 was the first video game that I enjoyed post-depression, and for that, it means everything to me. Not only is the gameplay just fun and relaxing and enjoyable, the vibes of Borderlands are so special and so unique. There is truly nothing like it. I'm not making this video for pity or sympathy or anything like that. I'm making this video because I love Borderlands 2 and I want to share my story. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have gone through things too. We all go through adversity. I want to know what's your guys' Borderlands or what's your guys' cup of tea? Was there anything, even if it was small, that kind of gave you hope in a situation? Please drop a comment below. Let's kind of have a positive discussion if possible. Thank you guys so much if you've made it through this video. I kind of opened up a bit on this one, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go ahead and have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.